everybody. My name is Nick Terrazio, head of uh, gaming and esports at Streamly. I'm very excited to be joining you today on this Saturday. Not only do I have my favorite game IP of all time, and I can't express the amount of time I've spent either in Warcraft 3 or World of Warcraft. Not only do I get to talk about that all day, but I get to talk to the very people who make that game a, a reality, who bring it to life, who give the characters the depth, who give the uh, performances, the souls, the cinematics. And I'm really not even talking just WoW. It's Heroes of the Storm. It's any of the games which these characters are featured. So without further ado, let's get into the panel and introduce our talent. Hello, guys. Welcome. Hi. Hey, hey. Hello. Hey, hey. Hello, everybody. We're very Welcome to my class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, this is something that I have learned after joining Streamly, that there is a initial power that any voice actor has. If you've, like, sunk enough years into the game like I have, like, you can just, like, put on one of your performances right now. You can just put on the voice, and I'm, like, immediate nostalgia hit. I'm, like, immediate, like, sense memory. You know, like, yeah. my, a finger goes to a certain hotkey. It's crazy, but, you know... That's where we are. And I know that you guys in the chat probably feel the same way. So just to lay down kind of how this is going to go. Uh, we see you, what you guys are. I'm typing in the chat. We're super happy that you guys are here. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let us know. There's going to be uh, times where I ask you guys a question directly, and I'll be shouting out the cool ones, and maybe we'll even be answering them from the cast. So with that said, why don't we do our – introductions let's go like a tidal wave what this way right why don't we start and um you can introduce yourself uh, ellen oh i'm first okay yes first of all i'm thrilled to be here with all my great colleagues from wow fantastic voice actors that i admire and thank you fans for being here so without further ado i only played one major character a lot of my colleagues have played many um sedana Blood Fury, a very demure, angelic person with that name. No, I was the um, <laughs> first boss in the Shadow Moon Burial Ground dungeon. I'm a orc, a very powerful orc. And um, this was a major, wonderful throat ripper for me. But I love luring spirits of the dead and using them for my twisted purposes and using their power to infuse Ooh, my soul. Ooh, spooky. I love that. Thank you so much, Alan, for uh, joining us. Um, moving right, right along. Patty Madsen, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you've already spooked me before, and I'm afraid it's going to happen again. Uh, welcome to the stream. Oh, Nick, I'm happy to join you. Uh, anyone oh. who's played well knows who that is. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you so much for being here. So excited to be with my fellow brilliant voice actors and some of whom you don't really get a chance to see very often so they you know the the pictures that they've got in the streamily store which i know he's going to put down in the banner here in a second uh you get a chance to get something from these amazing people who are in front of me and so just yes. delighted to be here on yes and that is a very good point if you guys take a look streamly.com slash warcraft all of this talent and many more who are going to be featured in our many more <laughs> world of warcraft voice actor events have prints on sale we have exclusive sdcc prints if you're going to be at the show they come in a very shiny uh, metallic print it comes in a perfect you know frame it's a great gift and we have so literally cool. all sorts of signings so check out that link and let's move Right along, Joe. Thank you so much for joining us on the stream, Joe. It hi 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 everybody. It is so good to be here with my amazing wow colleagues and people I've done stuff with elsewhere, like uh, like you know, and Ellen is great. Uh, um, I uh, I have a long history with with, with World of Warcraft and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the stuff that you'll see down below on the Streamly shop right now is our uh, Harlan Sweet. Uh, from Azeroth and Battle for Azeroth, and, and Kirill from Battle for Azeroth, and also Renzik the Shiv from uh, Battle for Azeroth. But I go way further back than that, and we're trying to get some stuff to put down there, because I played Zanzil many years ago. Many, wow. many, many years ago. So and, cool. Uh, oh, wow. Which is kind of cool. And I, I've been very lucky. I've also done some other stuff in Warcraft, and I don't know what it is, and I've been trying to find out. I know. I can't. Okay, Joe, <laughs> Joe, you may be in luck. Uh, Ancillary, secondary. You can help us. I, yeah, you <laughs> may be like, talking to the uh, a world's authority on Warcraft 3 quotes and Warcraft quotes in general. I've played these games or watched these games for so long. I 
that is fantastic to hear that you have been doing this for so long and you uh, represent so many characters in this world. Again, thanks for joining us. And guys, check out that link again, streamly.com slash Warcraft, all of this talent. Uh, let's move right on to our next talent. Um, Adino, hello. And I Hi. love your shirt. I'm so <laughs> jealous. I wish I had one, but I don't. I know. eBay. <laughs> eBay. Yeah. eBay, there you go. He's got the dark lady on my Warcraft chest. attire, Ooh. eBay. Yeah, I just, I, I just, I had to look because I, I, it's like, oh my god, I've, I've forgotten how many things I've done. I started way back when, I think with Lich King, uh, I started as the, uh, the Death Knight now and so on, oh, and, wow. and then eventually uh, I became, you know, Geblin Mechatark uh, and, and uh, 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 Fungal Mancer Glop, uh, Professor <laughs> Putricide. <laughs> I've heard you so many times in games. And Nimeron, don't push that button. Uh, and then oh, Arthur, uh, I, I I'm pushed the button bomber. many times. <laughs> uh, uh, good. Oh my God, J Jay Lazarus. Uh, I've lost track of how many of these did I done. The Shrinkmeister. I was the Shrinkmeister for the. <laughs> For the uh, the Hearthstone. Oh wait, not this is the long German exit. I believe it was this one. Yeah. No, yes, the, yes. There was a the goblin card. Yeah. yeah there yeah, was yeah. a goblin card that was a shrink. He had a shrink ray, and he uh, reduced right. the attack of the other cards by two. He was like a right. Two. Yep. And a mad yeah. bomber. And this. Yeah. Guy, oh, this the mad bomber. That's a mad, staple. Three. Two, I, three I've two. I've I've lost count. How many of these guys that I've done for Warcraft? Did one party, king of King of King of King of Wow. Yeah, they just they just call me and say, "Can you be there?" And I'm like, "Sure." Sir. And I'll find out awesome. what I'm doing when I get there. So that I, is yeah, so despite having done all of these things that I've done, all these things <clears throat> that I've done, the first fan who contacted me about this said, "Oh my God, it's so cool that you're going to be there with Patty Matson." <laughs> oh, shit. And, and spent like a half hour talking about how much they love Patty Matson. Well, I'm excited to be with you, Patty. Thank you. <laughs> it is interesting, actually, how Sylvanas as a character, there are so yeah. many games in which she's so good in. She's one of the best Hearthstone cards. She's one of the best heroes of the Storm characters. And, you know, it's like, so even when you're playing the games at a competitive level, you get a lot of a wailing a banshee shrieks in your ears with the headphones all the time, man. Oh so yeah, Sylvanas. Savannah is definitely up there. So thank you guys so much for uh, bringing it. Um, uh, Jason, you are next. And I must say, you got the setup that looks like Ooh. like Batman IRL. Yes. Right? So, uh, <laughs> this, this is a real setup here. I like this. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. It's I just refused to put lights back there. Here. <laughs> yeah, be, right? I can't show you. It's a vampire um, name. Hi, I'm... Uh, oh, exactly. It's a vampire <laughs> thing. It's it's a Venthyr thing. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Jason Marnoka, and I, um, I play... Uh, a certain Prince Renathal in Shadowlands, mm. and uh, anyone who's up by the to you endlessly. For a lovely evening. Oh my gosh! You, it's right back at you. I was going to say. Every, now that I'm hearing what everyone's done, I'm just like, mm. you know, so it's just, <laughs> this is incredible. So being here is fabulous among this Hollywood squares of of, of non squares. This is great. So <laughs> that's me. I like that one. Oh uh, wait! Did someone just throw their voice there? I'm like, who is that? Who said that? Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, thanks Are we so much in for joining us. And man, yes, there is definitely Are some love. Really? There's some love for a Renathal in the chat. Uh, we definitely love to see it. Definitely one of, uh, of those characters that, you know, you hear yeah. just a sinister <laughs> oozing in your headphones and you're like, well, I guess I wouldn't mind doing that <laughs> instance one more time. Right. Uh, so <laughs> that's moving on. Um, uh, L, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Hi everyone. Uh, so I, I think the last count I have twenty voices in World oh. of Warcraft. Wow. Twenty characters. Uh, my my main characters are uh, well, the one that I sort of like mostly quote is uh, "You stand before me, Queen Moira." Wow, yeah. Fun. So yes. Moira, go girl. Moira, Moira, Moira. So and great. then. Yeah, and then there's Tess Greymane, Princess Tess Greymane, that's me. Um, and I'm also Valtois of the Ley Lines. Uh, oh. the names. Yeah, and I have like a bunch of characters in Hearthstone, and I think some of those cross over. I know Tess does, and, to, and Moira. Uh, I also was Hilda Hornswoggle in Mists of Pandaria. <laughs> Hilda Hornswoggle. That, yeah. You just got to love what they do with the names. It's oh. like I... I I already know what that character looks like, where they're from, you know... Uh, a little feel. It's so cool. Are you doing Time Walkers right now, though? 
what we what's and time, time walkers are up this week well no. oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I i i i i don't know um is that actual game things i that's I, actually I, happening that right now in game oh, oh yeah, i don't think so i don't i think hilda was just one of those like you know uh fun uh quick quick drive-by characters she's very fun though um well, we might run into her this week somewhere in pandaria pandaria oh, right yeah. 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 Oh. Pandaria, as it was. And I and I did want to say I don't know if we're talking about Hearthstone, but I did have a character in Hearthstone that was like literally a, like super overnight popular, and I don't even know if the character's still in it. It was AFK. Yes. <laughs> Are we still fighting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's still in. She's still in battlegrounds, and she's actually yeah. one of the more uh, powerful ones. Yeah. Oh, she, good. <laughs> she skips her first three turns because she's AFK. But then on the third turn where you actually join the game, it's like a huge power spike. So oh, yeah. okay. it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. And yeah, um, Hearthstone is definitely an offshore of Warcraft accounts. Yes, Lunar's okay. here. I would say it's all the same universe. Actually, if you come down to it, the devs visioned Hearthstone is literally the tavern in which these legends finally go off to, you know, a kickback and play something. So yeah, it's very much in that realm. Yeah. Um, Most of my last... characters are on the ones that we were talking about earlier. Oh awesome. yeah, yeah. I believe what a future side. He was a two-two in one of those expansions. That was a yeah. yep. Rough one. Was. But <laughs> I could talk Hearthstone for some time. But let's uh, our last, but certainly not least, a uh, Cameron. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, hey. Thanks for having me, and I'm so excited to be here to meet you all. Uh, I am uh, King Getting Great Man. For uh, 13 oh, years. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Chat. Yeah, we definitely got some Gen love. Um, oh, you have a daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I showed up in Cataclysm about 13 years ago and just shocked as I could be to find myself doing um, doing a character like that. It's not the type of thing I get to play uh, ever. But um, luckily, the casting director, Andrea, saw me in a play in New York. Wow. where I played about 20 characters in a play called 39 Steps. Oh, I had been doing oh that's a great play. I saw it. Yeah, it was, it's what a lot of fun. It? It's exhausting, yeah. but it was fun. But anyway, I played uh, I played men and women and children and old people and had 19 different accents. And she called me in, and I thought it was going to be a, a one-off. You know, I think I, I think I got like six hundred dollars for it, maybe or something. And I just thought, well, that was a, an experience. And then here we are, thirteen years later, and I, I love it every time. Every time I get to do that in the studio, it's just, it's just a, it's just the most fabulous thing. Yeah, Gen is definitely one of those characters that fans immediately are like attracted to, right? You have on the one hand the a worgen ferocity but then like yeah this like uh, elegance to it you know it's kind of the upside of the um, alliance just before they were at like the height of their power i love wargans in general I, I think it's a really nice addition especially back then when alliance were considered too nice it's like no let's bring in some a uh, wargans let's bring in some ferocity <laughs> right. to the alliance and you know what i'm 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 sure we have some wow heads in the chat um i'm not going to start bringing in what type of a faction you played. However, uh, I know there are some people asking, yeah, there will be time for a Q&A. So uh, once we get into it, let's actually get to our first, I suppose, round of uh, questions. And I suppose uh, this is a um, general one. Feel free to open to um, anyone who feels so inclined. When you see the first fan reaction, maybe to when your character was first launched so to when it was new or when people first you know like oh yeah you're that character that's cool maybe it was like something hype compared to now whereas maybe that character has changed that character has been in a different game with a completely different tone maybe now you were used to this type of fan but now it's a completely different one i'm really interested in the change or if you've seen any of what it's like to you know be in the spotlight of these blizzard games so you know I simply put, how has it been since you did that original first cast? Have you like noticed a difference in the way the fans perceive you as your character has been on screen longer and longer in front of the Blizzard audience? Again? Dan, 13 years, you win. <laughs> um, 
Well, for me, I, I'll just say the first thing that comes up to me is like, uh, for me is like, I remember, I'm going to talk about a, a play again, but I, I was in this really sort of adult, you wouldn't think a lot of children, not a lot of children saw it. But um, I remember, uh, I remember coming out uh, of the of the theater, and I had uh, I had put uh, that credit on my uh, on, in the in the playbill, and this um, this like twelve uh, year old boy, <laughs> you know, came up to me and wanted my autograph. It was like the only autograph that I ever got asked for for that show. <laughs> but he was he was like I mean I'm like I'm like you know I. I'm not a giant muscly guy, you know, and, and, and Gen is, and I'm always thinking that people are going to look at me and go, oh, but they really don't. <laughs> They're so excited um, to see. And, and, you know, because I'm, because it's not, it's not live with me there. I don't, I don't feel it all the time, but when you, mm -hmm. when you do get hit with it, it's like, wow, people are, People are crazy about this, and um, yeah. and I've just been tweeting um, re recently, which is not something I do a lot. But immediately, oh, nice. this thing just lights up, and it's so it feels so good. I mean, it feels so good, and it's wonderful to chat with people um, on on Twitter. Uh, there's some great graphic artists who do who take off with this material, and um, and. Wow just like up and coming folks and it just, it's wonderful to really touch base with them so I, I have to remember that and do that you know uh make a make it a point to do that more often because i get so much out of it well i just followed you on twitter you all should too at fulmar uh, cameron <laughs> Uh, backwards for some reason. I really screwed that one up, but um, I need to change the hand. Wait a minute. It's at, wait, at, at last Cameron? name, first name. At last yeah. name, first name. It's so <laughs> dumb. I didn't mean to. I just followed too. Why not? That's it's unique. Great. We love it. Yes, there you go. Cameron. It is. Unique well, and lovely, Cameron. It does add a bit of a, a symmetry when you see it on the screen, right? It's like Cameron Fulmer, Fulmer Cameron. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good point. Who is this guy? You know? <laughs> Anyways, cool, cool. So, yeah, let, let's get some follows um, in the chat. And thanks for that. Yeah, and please, mm -hmm. I would love to hear your uh, stab at that uh, question, Joe. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yes. You know, it's funny because it, it, I am in awe of fans in general. And the way everybody, uh, there's somebody on here today who's actually, who, who said, uh, said, you know, that I didn't know much about a character that I played many, many years ago that is not in Warcraft, that is a very, very obscure character for most people, but not for Sky and for the other fans that are out there. It's, it's always, that's always amazing to me. The stuff that I played in Warcraft has been over a long period of years, but they're not, you know, not like, not like Cameron, uh, you know, not like, 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 well, not like a lot of people here. Uh, and, and, but they've gotten a little bit of a Zenzil. Zenzil got a little bit after. Yeah, you know, he, he got quite a bit of stuff. And I've, I've read a lot of nice things yeah. about Kiro, who basically talks in my voice. Uh, he's just sort of me, and he's nice. Uh, and, and, and a little sarcastic sometimes. But, uh, um, I find myself amazed and inspired by fans, fan reactions to stuff because it kind of lets you know the impact you have that you don't know you have as a human. You know, sometimes yeah. we work in a vacuum and we sit in little studios and we and we record our stuff and we go, it's out there and we go, oh, God, I hope people like it. But you don't know. And then somebody will come and surprise you uh, with, mm -hmm. like, like, like Cameron got surprised with that autograph at that day. And, and, and I just, I'm humbled by it and inspired by it. So that's pretty, that's my answer. Yeah. And, you know, too, a lot of the uh, characters, especially in Hearthstone, you know, you hear the same line over and over. And it's a very, like, high impact moment. It's when you play the card. So that type of fan has a completely different uh, reaction to say, oh, someone who's been following, like, Uther Lightbringer ever since, like, Warcraft, you know? So it is interesting oh, yeah. to, to, you know, to hear how, the different sorts of uh, characters, you know, uh, bring on different things. And uh, there's actually been a question from the chat, which I would love to uh, throw up on screen here. Uh, Sky, the Zinian asked, do y'all ever play or watch the stuff you voice act for? That's a, a nice one, a simple, uh, try to get into the life of a voice actor. Do y'all ever just like sit there and say, yeah, time to binge. You have your own YouTube playlist, all the stuff you've been in. I mean, hell, I think I may do that, right? Just like watch it, you know, like kind of have a go me day. 
Do you all watch the stuff, you boys? I, uh, I, during the pandemic, I bought, I know what I was thinking, because like apparently they're gold dust or wear for a while, but I, I got my hands on a PS5 because I was, when I, when I was first cast in Apex Legends, I was like, I'm going to play in Apex Le and I couldn't even figure out how to get out of the, the shooting range. I don't think I would do much better with something like World of Warcraft. I don't know. I'm not, I love, love, love the work and I respect the day like all of the development every single person that puts these these incredible masterpieces together but i just i've tried to play games and i'm just terrible at them <laughs> it's it's hard to even progress to the point where you see your voice right it's not like you're in the tutorial the first level man that's a, yeah, that's a like, unique problem to have i was like this i'm not doing will, this justice at all yeah. <laughs> i will confess that i am not a, a, a gamer because I got addicted to playing games, so I would never leave this little case that I'm sitting right now. But I am an avid watcher of cutscenes and fuck, and I and going and looking for stuff. I love watching not just mine, but uh, other people's. I, yeah. I, I've watched you, Dino. I've watched you, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've, I've had games. Yeah, I, I've had games played for me. Uh, you know, I mean. I, <laughs> Yeah. That's the way to do I, it, I think. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's like I, despite the baby face, you know, I grew up in the seventies. The whole game world, you know, passed yeah. me by, and and so what I've done with things like Warcraft and Arkham Asylum and all these things is, is I've had friends who are gamers come over and play, and I just I watch it like a movie. You know, I got my popcorn, yeah. and I and, uh, and they they play it for me. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, you know. That. Because I'm like, I, otherwise, I with the controller, I'm like, I, 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 you know. Yeah, that's a definitely fun way to do it. I'm, I'm from a family that watches people play, you know, like big family, one screen, one Super Nintendo type deal. So for us, it was always like, yeah, that's very normal. But things got weird when the horror games came out for the PlayStation. Because mm -hmm. now it's like, wait, one person's playing Silent Hill and everyone's watching them. That's a lot of pressure <laughs> on a 13-year-old, you know? The game's already terrifying, but yeah, that was kind of the fires I was for. Popcorn forced. game for sure. You know. Yeah, right? Oh, man. Nick, I don't even watch my own stuff on camera, so I don't <laughs> it. Um, don't do it. But, you know, people will let me know what they think about it. And uh, the fans are the best in terms of that. Or they'll send me, Joe said, like you'll see a cut scene. Somebody will send me a fan will send me a scene. Or they'll say, is that really you? Because this character was so... <laughs> and there. Yeah. And they're not used to women generally. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, they say, is it's that so guttural. It's like a it's zombie. Really very. Yeah. It's very like, where is my larynx? You know, yeah, like where's where my larynx? And I don't want to hear where's my larynx because I want to do some nice narration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to my stuff. No, unless somebody sends it to me. There's no answer to that question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, I don't know. Uh, a Patty, it seemed like you dropped some game, some some game <laughs> facts earlier, you know? Like, how much do you play? Wow, I'm curious. Is um, You know, I have never played a game up until 2018, I had never played a video game in my life, never really looked at any of them, but I wanted to be in my performance to be informed because the fans at BlizzCon and stuff were so powerful. I thought I wanted to see what they were seeing um, in game, not just from the cinematic point of view or, you know, delivering the storyline, right? Um, so I had a friend uh, offer to take me for a ride through Warcraft on this dragon. You guys, I thought I was going to lose my mind. I had never seen anything like yeah. this. I was absolutely smitten. I started playing. I made my first character, which was a mage. I have oh, yeah, played like since. Teammates. I have played since 2018. Although I'm currently working on my demon hunter, who was ass kicking. Hey, um, and my my pally is walking, killing it. But anyway, <laughs> um, no, I got so I got so amazed by what these graphic designers, music arrangers, I mean, the, the music it's... for Revendreth. In, and oh, for, yes. Oh, it is so, listen, all the, all the banter in Revendreth, if you play the game, is so damn funny. Mm -hmm. It is so funny. And, you know, I just was truly blown away by the work that everyone does, the voice actors, the, the, the directors who bring all that to life. I, I was thrown asunder. Um, and I've been playing since 2018, but prior to that, zero experience in um, game playing. And so I've now, of course, encountered myself, and I find it funny to encounter stuff from 
what is now almost 15 years ago, probably 15 years ago yeah. from Warcraft three, right? Yeah. Or just after, and you hear what you did then. Um, <laughs> And what you what you do now, and uh, it, it's it's just it's interesting and wow. funny. Yeah. Um, now there's definitely something to be said about the whole score and all of the music. Oh my god! And, oh yeah. It's so Honestly, it, it's so I almost danced to the the Revendreth waltz at my wedding because it's just. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I, I mean that sounds so beautiful. Like sub goal if I ever heard one. I just oh, want yeah, to yeah. a video of you waltzing now, right? Like, can't we get some <laughs> print sales for that, right? Like, can't we get some a little like I'm bar if we hit a hundred? <laughs> my de my demon hunter's home is Revendra, and um, I hear you constantly. So every time you open your mouth, I'm like, can you just talk a little more, please? Just say anything to me. Say yeah, anything, more, Prince Renathal. Just anything. Uh, so Did you pay your taxes on time, Mo Walker? What are you saying, <laughs> Renathal? Well, all I'm saying is that I've heard some things. All right, word gets around. Visit me oh. in the mall, Renathal. Yeah. I'll be waiting. I've and Greymane, perhaps we can reunite you with your son. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe we should leave everybody. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> the shiver that went down my spine when you started doing that Ooh. voice, I swear. Ooh. I swear. Yeah, that was, was oh. sinister. <laughs> well, my no, favorite uh... thing is like um, when the first time they showed me uh, the uh, the cinematic for Battle of Azeroth, and oh, I was in the, it was on a, it was on a, like a, a small movie screen, and you know the. And the sound was amazing, and I just almost like dropped to my knees. It was so, so beautifully done. The animation was so incredible. And when just she mind flies blowing. Out, and when she flies out top of the top of that building and gives that shriek that kills everybody, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> and the so score. Fucking delicious. I mean, just that like Carmina Verana type score is just like Jesus. Right. Yeah. I think I think Blizzard like the cinematics, the Blizzard cinematics, because I, I just realized I I think I've been in it for 13 years as well because I was in Cataclysm. I think that's when I came in. And yes. so it's, so yeah. watching watching like different, you know, just like seeing how things have morphed and like just this, this the work gets better and better and better. It's incredible. It really is. Yeah. yeah. It, and, it's stunning. And that soundtrack, you know, it when you go into a world like that. It takes you, not only is it good hand-eye coordination, puzzle, mm -hmm. figuring out, there's a, just so many things to figure out, but also it takes you out of the world and flying on a dragon with this incredible stuff going on. And it, it's such a escape. It's just, especially wow. when you can get on Discord and go do Time Walkers with your friends. And it's yeah. mind blowing to me. And now I'm like a five-year-old in gaming clearly. <laughs> so I'm like a little baby going, oh my God, what is No, this? actually uh, one of my most cherished uh, memories is me and my uh, a little sister, both deciding to make level one gnome rogues. And, you know, they were, they were named something cute. Like it was like matching, like, you know, like tit for tat or like, tat. you know, like Zonk <laughs> and Zook. Cause we Zook. planned. <laughs> On making them literally like PvP monsters, so like all their specs would complement each other. We're just trying to kill one target, so we would like uh, we would eventually go on to a level them both to sixty, and sure enough, we would gank people all throughout our server, and it was like a, an entire thing. We would put on the music loud, you know. We'd have the whole downstairs. It was like a super fun memory, and that type of stuff, you know. It, WoW is such an expressive game. And all of these memories, you know, brought to life by the voice talent. You know, this is a perfect segue to remind y'all of that beautiful little HTTPS uh, link at the bottom of your screen. Now, when you type that in, streamly.com slash Warcraft, what do you see? Well, you see a store and it's beautiful. And there are prints just like you see Patty holding up, just like you see uh, any number of our talent if they have any of these prints. You can get all of these prints and more signed uh this uh <laughs> stream is to let you all know that you know this this store is open we are uh selling prints and all of these will be signed actually on stream at a later date so say for example you buy your print uh you say you want it to stream just follow our little helper there and we'll get you uh 
in touch when your stream uh, schedules <laughs> on, so <laughs> your time is. And it, it looks like we're making sales already. So uh, yeah, ahead. thank you, thank you, Rachel. She just bought one of my prints. Awesome yeah. guys, yeah. And you know, I always try to make the joke. Look, it's Print Srenathal. Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Send me that Renathal. I'll go one. now. Oh, you, you got one. Done. Crying <laughs> in broke bank account. Oh, Anna Montero. I know. Here, here's the thing. Here's the hack. Send the store link to someone that owes you a gift. Yeah. And just say like a crying emoji face. Trust me, the silence goes a long way. <laughs> Anna, I know you have. Prints. Yeah. Those oh, metallic yeah. prints for SDCC, although they're you know pricier and they're bigger. Man, they're beautiful. Ooh, I got to see the mock-up, and I was like, "It's my the art." There oh, you yeah, go. Oh, that. Dino, Ooh, that's the gnome. The gnome, the gnome, the gnome. Come on, the and alliance. How, and how long did we here. listen to Dino? How many times did we listen to Dino in game? Like over and over. Future side in Mechagon. Oh. In, I mean, it's crazy. You know, I, I was just I it, over my desk, which is on the other side of this camera. I have the boxes for Lich King, Cataclysm, all these, and I don't remember the order so it's like i think i've also been in this thing that long you've been at it forever and you know i i would i just want to say aside from the if it wasn't for the fans i wouldn't have been invited to as many conventions as i've been invited if it wasn't for that there's a lot of these beautiful people here joe ellen all these folks i never would have met face to face if not for the fans saying bring these That's people true. to the conventions so you know i i have now and people like joe and ellen and dave and so on lifelong friends now because of that because of you so thank you for your support fans um yeah amen. Thank you. that's so really great. well put that's, ditto that's, ditto that's, ditto. That's, ditto ditto we yeah. can't do this without you yeah so, you guys it's are fun awesome. because what yeah. happens then when we run into each other on projects uh, it's 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 double the fun for us because mm -hmm. we know how we met and we know that it's you people and we know it's 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 great yeah. My wife still thinks it's super neat that years ago, Dino, she was uh, she went to Comic Con a few times at this at this point, dressed oh. as Arkham Asylum, Poison Ivy, and has pictures with you. So <laughs> the fact that we've done stuff together, we just think is the funniest thing in the world and the greatest thing in the world. Full circle, Jason. Full circle. I know, right? I'm just. <laughs> it, it it's nuts, and it is one of the beautiful things about fandom. It really is uh, it, the the way it has turned us all, not just. Yeah, you know, not just in, in just fellow voice actors, but a lot of us have become family. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's 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 a wonderful, wonderful. Thing. Jason and I, I didn't really know Jason until we worked on a series together that's currently showing in like every country on the planet, but ours. It'll get here eventually. <laughs> I'm sure I it's on the moon. And now. and yeah. yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Jason is family. And so oh, the fact that we're both on work, I was like, oh, cool. And Dino, yeah. you're in a movie with Joe right now. That's the right. That's here. right. Chicken Hair on Netflix. Netflix. Chicken Chicken hair. Hair. Oh, cool. Darkness. Yeah. I on love Netflix. seeing my friends work together. So the wow so ties go deep. It seems as if the teamwork and all of the synergy you guys have, you know, done it. Wow. I hope it goes off in other games. And it looks like we have some fan love too. I ordered one of my Dark Lady. Great. Thank you so much for ah. Order. Thank we you. also have some Renathal love in there. Thank you guys so much for oh. these prints. Uh, it really means the world to us. And, you know, definitely, definitely a ditto on all the talk about fandom, right? Like, you guys are why mm -hmm. we're all here, and it's the continued support of all y'all. We have actually some questions in chat, too. And I really appreciate this one because um, I feel like, you know, a lot of the interest in some of the more. Uh, long-term fans is they want to work for the game that's the one thing i hear all the time they want to work for the game they want to get mm. the game because you know hey if you play in a court long enough you probably want to build your own so sci-fi Susie asks how do you all prepare to Ooh. voice a character do you put yourself in a certain mindset now that's interesting because yes you know not only do you have to get ready to voice the character but once you're ready and you know the lines well now you have to execute it's the day of the shoot so, like, what, do you take your coffee black? Do you put a lot of sugar in it? Like, are you trying to, what's your style? Yeah, all right, that's a pretty good question. So how do you put yourself in a certain mindset? I mean, this goes to anyone. Anyone who wants to take um, 
A lot with Renathal, I find, is that I, I adjust my posture a little bit with him, mm -hmm. and I gesture with my hands a little bit more when I'm, when I'm preparing and I'm acting, because, of course, he's just so flowing and, <laughs> like, regal and much more than I am. I'm just kind of over here, like, I'm dressed like a retired pirate. Like, you know, I don't... <laughs> whatever. So, you know, so I find that a, a certain posture adjustment helps a lot, and not being afraid to, to gesticulate and, you know, really, like, pull at your... And, and also, I have these, these claws that... That I've just developed since mm. I've since COVID hit. I stopped biting my nails. So now I'm just like, oh, I'll just have Renathal claws forever. Why not? Oh, um, you're living it. It's it, like the I'm line is being blurred, but in the best way. <laughs> Things are blossoming there. It's great. I almost wore a robe that I have that has big gray fur on it, like Renathal has. I almost. I think gonna get rid of that Go almost. It. Yeah, I think why why are we speaking? You know, get, get the robe. I wore a robe, and you know, that's that's the next step there. Because I me mean, putting Renathal on clothes when you can record at home. Up. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know, clothes. again, how do y'all prepare the voice of character? You know, I agree. What's his mindset? You guys put yourself in. Oh, sorry, Pat. I, I agree with Jason. The physicality informs the voice for me. And as an actor, most of us are stage trained actors. A, a lot of us have come from the stage. And, um, you know, I, I didn't see the material till I got in the room. Mm. You know, and that's generally mm. the case for people. I see some people want to know how Often to use a voiceover actor. This is very important that you are able to draw from your emotional toolbox and dive in that moment because literally because everybody's so protective of their property and you know ndas all the way is all of our mottos you have mm -hmm. to be able to bring that to life so physicality helps and with andrea toyas as mm -hmm. our director i'm oh, sure you yeah. all work with him her she is beyond phenomenal like oh. you pray that you get a director like her to because this is the woman who will play you the music that the character listens to mm. the, the descriptions of who her grandfather is and the and the gameplay and the set and there's so much detail and i as a detailed actor who, re who re researches a lot and then throws it away um she is an incredible team player and i'm sure everybody will tell you the same thing so she will guide you as well when you're in yes yeah, she is an actual gem bless her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah wow. that. Um, so yeah. I really feel that that guide there and a good director will also, you know, stay back and just let you do your thing. And then just, we'll give you a little whisper in the ear. Mm -hmm. She's takes you on an emotional ride that mm. uh, unbelievable with an arc, like the character I had was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I, I, that's, I was going to second that, like I was going to say to explain to people who might, you know, people who aren't voice actors, like a lot of times when we go in, we might get this, the scripts ahead of time, but, and often with a game like this, you have your main character or characters, but then they'll throw you like a couple of other characters like on the day. So you're sort of like, you're sort of creating on the fly almost. Mm -hmm. um, and you often have Andrea and also, I don't know, I'm sure a bunch of you have been directed by JB. JB. Um, Patrick. Um, and it's amazing. Yeah, they're just like so. Karen. Yes, yeah, even Christy Golden herself. Yeah, they're so like they're they're so versed in the world. And then of course we have the writers that come in, and so those writers like in the session too. And so it's like you have this like you literally have World of Warcraft like in the room. And yeah. so I mean I don't even worry about being prepared because it's like there is so much support on the other side and they're just so they just guide you and steer you and they're so kind and they know what they're looking for and it's like it's it's magic it's just yeah. magic so it seems uh, as if a flexibility in order to take advantage of such yeah, yeah. you I, have to uh, trust yeah. you need to trust if i may yeah. plug in and first off I'd like Please to apologize because I, I, I keep going sideways and disappearing because I'm having some yeah. kind of strange. Oh, yeah, you're really. I know. I know. There he goes. Oh, hey. I, hey. I were that acrobatic. Joe, you're kind of like a wow rare spawn, you know? You're there, but then you're on a timetable, you're gone. It's all in game but, allure. But, so. but, but it's the lesson in flexibility and being flexible. And in games, you have to be ridiculously fle flexible. You have to allow yourself to be surprised. And you have to go with whatever cues you can get. Uh, Elle's right in that when you go in the studio, they have so much and they give you so much. They make it so easy. 
because you do walk in. I, I the, when I did Azeroth, I didn't know what the characters looked like that I was playing. I didn't know what I was playing. They showed me what the, a picture and went, oh, he's like that. Oh, because he's kind of a tough guy. Okay, he'll talk like that. Oh, he's a very nice guy, so he'll talk like that. Oh, he's a pirate, so he'll talk like that. You know, he's just literally looking at him and grabbing a cue. Uh, when I yeah. grab a, a, first thing I do when I get a script is I read it out loud to see what happens to me. That would that mm. way before I start calculating or figuring anything out, I want to know how I react to what I get and how that character is reacting to what he feels. So that's so interesting and, and, that and, you said how the words react to you, as if like that's yeah. like like normal. It's like really fascinating. I never think of words like I read them and they hit you. I think that really is like a testament to your talent. You know how you act. If I could. Um... A lot of what they're saying about, or what everybody's saying about when you're in the session, you just put yourself in the hands of the directors. That is so very true. When it comes to the audition, however, mm. um, it's kind of all on us and yeah. and each situation is different. And I can mm. give you three examples. One, Professor Putricide, I had to approach it from the point of view of a kind of sort of sound alike because we were told that the character was thought of as a malevolent version of Professor Farnsworth from Futurama. So I was automatically thinking of his voice, but trying That's to make him malevolent. That good news, everyone, the slime is blowing. So trying to get that flavor, but at the same time, make him malevolent. So I, I was coming from the point of view of something that already existed. Then yeah. in the case of, uh, of Megatork, um, I had images. And so I could look at the images and as a voice actor, when they send me a picture of a character, that is my costume. And I try to approach it like the old Rada style of acting from the outside in, of looking at the, and seeing what I glean from the images mm. uh, for, for posture, <coughs> sense, all of these things. Then the other side of it <clears throat> would be closer to like uh, Mimiron or Fulgur, um, Fulgurmancer, Glop, I get those names confused, I've done so many of them. All where sorts there was, of mancers oh, and right, chemists. And and Glop, where there was no girl. image, just a description. Mm -hmm. So now I'm relying on my own imagination mm -hmm. and, uh, and listening to the description in the words of the personality of the character. And let's see, is this, are, are these uh, events of the person, the things that led to this personality, is this something that I can sense memory and draw on my own memories of, yes, I remember being this way, or is it something that I can make a magic as if? Oh, uh, he's this character's ultra, ultra joyous, so I'll play it as if I won the lottery. That my mm -hmm. magic as if, or will I play it as a touchstone? Do I recall a movie or TV show play where a performance really touched me, where somebody played that and it was real to me, and so I can play it in that strength. So it's all going to depend upon the act, the, the the different audition, how I approach it. There isn't any one solid mm -hmm. way that I do it. And then, beautifully, Christina, what Joe said, beautiful. then do it out loud. Yeah. Uh, you know, there seems yeah. to be a link to some of the things you all talked about, but there's a, a physicality to it that you said you get some hints on you know the posture based on what they're wearing mm -hmm. that kind of makes sense to me i would look at what a character's wearing and from that glean well you know this character started naked and then they put it on so it's if like, we get a picture like, nick sometimes we don't yeah, get a picture, get a picture. Yeah. That's so true. often you don't. sometimes we don't get any information That's you know nick i don't think prince renathal before i i got him yeah i well. Yeah. Hey, Nick, a general so, thing about voiceovers in general is that when people enter them, they think it's all about the voice, and it's uh, not. It's right. called voice acting, and the first word is acting, not voice. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and, and more importantly, there's no reason, as, as, as Dino and as, and as Jason, as, as everybody is saying, that you, you should use your whole body. Your whole body is a weapon to use in so many different ways. And, and another way that it's an inter interesting thing to use, and uh, Dino touched on it when he's talking about trying to remember experiences that you've had that are like all of this stuff. If you remember where you have an emotion in your body, if you feel hatred in your stomach, if you feel love in your chest, if you feel love, you can use an interesting part of your body to help you get to something thicker. Uh, and sometimes I actually really, really uh, that answers. Yeah, and uh, that was a really nice... Interesting ending. <laughs> a timing there on the... Yeah. yeah, a patty, it seems... Did you have something you just wanted to add? Because well, we actually you know, have just, a shout-out, too. Yeah, I wanted the fans to know that I we are seeing 
their little thing. Yes. And so sometimes I'm waving or <laughs> making a thumbs up to, to respond to what I'm seeing uh, as far as what they're saying. I keep to hoping any it's one of and them. Oasis yeah, gaming otherwise asks, I'm just going, hey. Oh, shout out. I'm glad to know that because I thought it was Patty saying Dino's wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Ignore him. I, I don't know. Like, hey, we love you. His you son's know, a better actor. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, stop. yeah. So, you know, you. guys, guys, you know, definitely John. reading in the chat. If you guys have any um, questions, please let us know. And again, um, if you're watching the VODs of this, if you're just watching this on a Facebook video or a YouTube video, a Twitch or whatever, uh, do not fret. This store link is live. It will be live. It's a, a constant source for autograph prints. Uh, from these talents and you will hear from them again you will hear from them more Ooh. and oh look, look at that look at that sheen look at that you know how crisp look at the, <laughs> the edge the character is almost That's as good no, listen as i have to look at that. streamly does a really good job you guys with the quality of their prints i mean they're oh, yeah. really cool they give you a bunch of different options and they're nice prints <laughs> you can eat i mean off. they're good to like you know frame or whatever right Yes. In honor of today, my shirt is Sylvanas. The world is a prison. Ah, uh, yeah. Aww. The world mm. is a prison. This world is a prison. <laughs> it is. And this is this a window out. This is a prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, can I move the... Oh, look! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh so this I... is fun. I didn't realize I could just Whoa. play my music no Oh, oh there we go. Let's switch I'm busy. Up, Joe, you're upside down. There's a story of a host of a panel. Yeah. Oh my God, it's the. No, you're I really just funny. wanted to do it. Yeah, so I, I can't change. What the if we just had that though? going constantly as we went, like not even stopping, just it's constant. Yeah, just shifting. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, holy yeah. hell. Yeah, Joe, it seems to be falling over. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. What? It seems to be muted. Where'd you go? I got him. Here, it's okay. Just give you a turn. Yes, they've given me power. Okay, okay, okay. Back. Order in the court. Order in the court. That was fun. But yes, we can move the things. Um, and why don't we, uh, Joe? Maybe you want to go in and out again because we can. Um, I can do a little reset. Let me do a little reset. Uh, Joe, he's that. having the classic tech problem, right? And here we are back. How did it get back to how? It, anyways, oh, he he signed off. I think. Oh, okay. Well, I hope uh, if if Joe come can back. come back, yeah, he'll he's come, back. come back. He'll come back. Um, oh, so this is a question. We have a question again, Sci-Fi Susie in chat. Loving these questions. Um, this is a question with for um, Ellen. While voicing Sadana, did anything unusual ever happen? Ooh, this is did anything unusual ever happen? Yeah. Uh, okay, confession time, everybody. I uh, hurt and tweaked my lower back very badly in the session. Oh. It was such a physical character. And when I get into something, I, you know, you should see the contorting going on in the studio. I mean, it's like a dance recital, but this is not Swan Lake for this character. I was a ballet dancer, actually, but now this was very opposite to that. And I did a lunge because she had daggers. She was stabbing mm. somebody, oh, kind of a broadswordy type of thing. And I really went into it. And the physicality informed the voice, and I went, oh, and thank God I only had two more lines left. If anybody on that <laughs> from the Blizzard group is listening, I never told you. This is a wow. big question. And I hobbled out of there, and I was so happy there was only two lines left. And for three days, I was on my back in a fetal position. Oh. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was suffering for my art. But anyway, yeah, you use the phrase. Thing. The physicality um, influenced the voice, and yeah. that's definitely the a big takeaway as a voice acting novice myself. I've learned from this, and yeah, you know, it's there's always a always a risk when you put your heart into it. But as mm -hmm. anyone who's played the games, who's played a rogue, who's gotten ganked, who's felt the feeling of that backstab, we thank you guys for giving it that because if it was like a lame tame stab it's like not going to like really no, hit so no no you gotta go for it oh joe just texted me he's trying to get back in oh joe hey. great hey joe hey. You're coming. there we are i've been okay. sitting listening i heard i heard ellen's story i i uh i confess i remember that story very well uh oh. it's yeah <laughs> did anybody else have did anything we, happen we, to we, them we, during this yeah i kind of like that what are some unusual yes. situations 
He lives. Yeah. Yay, Joe. He's yeah. back. Chat's happy. I, yeah, yeah, Joe's back. Recently, I got to announce that I'm done some major uh, Piglin characters in the new Minecraft that's coming. And oh, nice. I've been that for cool. quite a while. And I had to do a lot of these because some of them were bosses. I had to do a lot of these really deep and high pitched squeals things, which oh. I can barely do right now because I was doing them and I, 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 and I actually pulled a muscle. Oh, the, the wall, chest wall. Yes. Where, where, from where the ribs connect to the Diabetes. sternum there, yeah. actually stretched and, and bruised. And when the session was over, I wound up at the hospital. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> where they had to give me, you know, x-rays and stuff to confirm that, yeah, it's just a pull. Oh. Nothing's broken. Mm. You're not having a heart attack. <laughs> and I like that. Well, but, but, uh, but yeah. And so whenever this game comes out and you hear these <laughs> badass piglins, yeah, I suffered for that. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. 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 I have almost gotten a throat bleed. I've I've played Megatron in a couple of Transformers shows, and that voice is way down here constantly. So when you're yelling and you're expressing and you're going, ah, Optimus Prime, all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get cats. Oh, bye, cat. Throat coat, um, honey. He's like, he's doing yeah, this again. That's yes. exactly it, though. Throat Glycerin, coat. sugar-free oh, yeah. glycerin oh, yeah. drops through the, the whole thing, right? The amount of throat coat that I have now, I'm pretty sure lasted them through the pandemic, like money-wise. I don't think that they've had to sell anymore. Um, but yeah, like it, it, I learned real quick on a couple of those shows, like, oh, I need to stop being Midwest polite and stuff. Cause usually they're like, do you need anything? And I'm like, no, 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 it's all good. I'm fine. I've got water. But now it's like, um, can I please have an entire pot of tea in a cup? Thank you. Like, yes. cause sometimes if you're doing a crazy voice, it's like, it's, it's better to, they want to help you. So it's good to, to ask and not just be like, oh no, I'm fine. Don't go out of your wee. Um, oh, or whatever. No, hey. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I'm from Indiana. I don't even know why I did that, but um, <laughs> you went to Minnesota. I went all the way to Minnesota. Um, I'd let me get you some toast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like it just being aware of like what will <laughs> hurt you. Now, granted, it can't be avoided sometimes, but other times, if you if you can stop it, which I learned to do with this, and just ask for tea and just regulate, then you're fine. Because I ended up being able to do it for hours and hours. So, I I I wanted to bring up just because people are asking about unusual. Like I wanted to bring up that the entire voiceover industry not only survived but thrived during a global pandemic. And so many of us, like we had to pivot from like you know auditioning uh, at our agencies and like working in studios to doing everything from home. And then not only at the beginning, it was like, not only were we doing everything voiceover wise, we were also, you know, having to learn, well, I didn't, cause I was, I already had that stuff, but like a lot of people had to learn like the software and also, you know, doing like, like source connect. And it was, it was quite the, uh, quite the pivot <laughs> for the whole industry. And I just, I always love to bring that up. Cause it's like, you know, the entertainment, in the voiceover, specifically video games, never stopped. It was ongoing. Mm -hmm. And the, the I mean, my specific example was I came out in this game called Apex Legends and I had to do uh, facial capture and, and like motion capture in the suit with like the thing inside my closet. Oh, and they had, they had to send oh, me like wow. a kit. Oh, yeah, they, they, they had to send me like the entire kit, which normally if you go to like, a session and you're doing motion capture there's a whole team for that that and you just show up in your little suit and you're with the balls mm -hmm. and the dots in your face like i had to do a seven hour uh five hour uh zoom session the day before my first session to actually learn how to like open the flight cases and like take things oh. out and put it together and then like put it on so in it the sounds day. yeah so the follow is correct and everything yeah so you know i just want to give a shout out to like the voiceover community as a whole that this this community rocks like seriously like so many of us actors like we stayed afloat and and we just pivoted and like you know the voice of our community just figured it out and so it's just such an honor to be part of such an amazing community but also just where the technology just evolved <laughs> at a time when it was like ah <laughs> yeah 
Doing no, mocap at home, that's crazy. I didn't even Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I didn't know they did yeah. in your closet. I, that's mind boggling. Oh, it was insanity. Wow. Cause like the, the motion capture, the video cameras are out here, you know, they yeah. have those mm. things. And like I was in a tiny, tiny closet and I would turn and I would oh, get no. just like a hanger. Yeah, on a <laughs> hanger. It was and then I'd the, the glamour of voice the camera. What's that <laughs> one movie where that yeah. botanist goes to Mars? This is like, <laughs> yeah, this is the like, Martian, yeah. this is like the game development version of that. You doing it yeah. said the in Mars show at first, your closet <laughs> and trying to find a way to make it. That's like really a, just the show must go on. Right. And yeah, yeah. I think voice actors, you guys already, as we talked on this panel, you know, masters of a flexibility needing to be able to what make up a character um, attributes off of what a description sometimes a photo if you're lucky there's definitely a lot of like uh quick thinking on your feet it seems to require it and then don't even get me started on like the bodily physical part of it towards the end <laughs> i'm like dang you guys are definitely putting your heart and sweat into it um that actually we 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 are about up on our time that's actually about an hour which is crazy and well, i know I, that went so fast yeah i know right it really did go go so fast i want to thank uh anyone who came and got a print again we're going to be doing more of these panels we have uh, all sorts of world of warcraft voice talent some people couldn't make it today but they have signings later we have signings on the um, 11th and we're going to do more of these panels and i'm really uh glad we got so much engagement and chat here and actually since we we maybe have some time uh some guilds we're asking if we could do some shout outs. So oh. are you guys down to do some shout outs from guilds? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, so yeah. sure let's much. get um, Oasis Gaming. Any chance for a Sylvanas shout out to our guild leaders, Silent, Legend, Chaotic, and Serenity. We ordered some prints and look forward. I, you know, I want you guys to know I have your print here. I haven't, I don't know, you know, like which one, but I yeah. signed some of them ahead of time. Nice. And so I do have that coming out to you like, boom. Um, I saw your, is there anything specific you want to hear her say? I mean, yeah, I, if they're live in the chat, you guys, please, uh, if there's anything you say, please let it know. I am watching the chat like a hawk. If you guys come in, I would definitely get that um, in. Uh, let's go on to the next guild shout out. Uh, and guys, again, we're here looking at chats. Uh, Carlos asked, hey, I was wondering if we get a shout out from Cameron to my guild, the Blades of Greymane. We're all Gilneas nerds and love his work. I love that. Uh, the Blades of Greymane. What a cool guild. I hope there's a lot of rogues in that one, right? <laughs> okay, let me get back from the mic a little bit. <clears throat> For Gilneas! Yes! <laughs> nice. There you go, Carlos, for the for the blades of Gilneas. Thank you guys so much for the shout outs. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for all the love in the chat. You guys were really great. We look forward to my print of the dark lady. Yes. Yes. I really hope, you know what, if you get a photo of that print, just shout it out to a streamily, you know, on a Twitter and yeah, a Carlos saw it. So he said, Hey, let's go. Thanks for that. Shout out. I'm um, Oasis gaming. Got back too. he said anything threatening from Sylvanas to silent legend chaotic so you want sylvanas to threaten your guildies you don't you don't have to try to silent act legend, like this is a nice thing <laughs> yeah. okay silent legend chaotic serenity is it come to the moor and visit me if you dare <laughs> awesome there you go guys cool. Wow. Was, cool. I, I was not prepared yeah yeah, I yeah. Was cheers, not cheers. I cannot wait to get my print. Yeah, guys, that was awesome. I, that was awesome, guys. Oh, and look, uh, Carlos, Rogues and Hunters are in that Gilneas Guild. Love it. That's so cool. You guys are definitely on brand there. You got some of the game main level. Guys, rogues. guys th this has really been an awesome stream. I'm glad you all enjoyed it as well. You guys can check out streamly.com slash Warcraft. I'm telling you, there are some dope prints there, and there's more prints coming um to the store every week we're working really hard to get all of the characters this these talents portray up on there so if you guys have any suggestions or if you want to see certain prints literally just let us know we're extremely live on all socials you can reach out to me my name is nick uh Durazio, head of gaming and esports at streamly and really this has been our panel our word of workout panel guys thank you so much for coming 
Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Yes. Oh, Thank you. All. Thank, Thank you, guys. Wonderful. Bye. Have a, Thank you, Nick. a fantastic Saturday. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.